Today, we will go through problems 11 to 15 of the JMC 2015. What is the smallest prime number that is the sum of three different prime numbers? Well, two cannot be one of the smaller primes, as then we will get an even number because the remaining primes are odd and even plus odd plus odd makes even. So we look at the three smallest odd primes, which are 3, 5 and 7, but 3 plus 5 plus 7 makes 15, which is not prime. So we look at the next smallest odd primes, which are 3, 5 and 11. And 3 plus 5 plus 11 makes 19, which is a prime. So that's our answer. A fish weighs the total of two kilograms plus a third of its own weight. What is the weight of the fish in kilograms? Well, from the question, we know that two thirds of the weight of a fish is two kilograms because its full weight is two kilograms plus a third of its own weight. Now, a third of its weight is then one kilogram, and so the full weight of the fish is three kilograms. In the figure shown, each line joining two numbers is to be labelled with the sum of the two numbers that are at its endpoints. How many, how many of these labels are multiples of three? So we will look at each multiple of three in turn and ha find how many pairs um, sum to this number. So for three, there's one pair, one and two, one, two. For six, there are two pairs, one, five, and two, four. Also notice that the order of these numbers correspond to one line. So one, five is the same as five, one. For nine, there are four pairs, one, eight, Two seven three six four five. For twelve, there are two pairs, four eight and five seven. For fifteen, there's one pair, seven eight. And we know there are no more pairs, no more multiples of three, because the maximum number we can get is seven plus eight. So counting them up, we find ten pairs. Digits on a calculator are represented by a number of horizontal and vertical illuminated bars. The digits and the bars which represent them are shown in the diagram. How many digits are both prime and represented by a prime number of illuminated bars? So the primes are 2, 3, 5 and 7 and 2, 3 and 5 are made from 5 bars and 7 is made from 3 bars. So we see that all four primes are made from a prime number of bars and so the answer is E. Finally, we have problem number 15. Which of the following is divisible by all of the integers from 1 to 10 inclusive? So for this problem, we can take a process of elimination approach. So they cannot be A, D or E, as they are not multiples of 5. As we can see, 23, 34, 56, 67, 67, 78 are not multiples of 5. So A, D and E cannot be multiples of 5. We will also notice that it cannot be B, as B is not a multiple of 7. As we can see, 34 is not a multiple of 7, and 45 is not a multiple of 7. So we are left with C, and we can check that it's correct, because 
56 is a multiple of 2. 45 is a multiple of 3. 56 is a multiple of 4. 45 is a multiple of 5. Now, 45 is a multiple of 3 and 56 is a multiple of 2. So C is a multiple of 6. 56 is a multiple of 7 and 8. And 45 is a multiple of 9. And to get the multiple of 10, 56 is a multiple of 2. And 45 is a multiple of 5. So C is the answer. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.